In this video, I'm going to redesign the new BMW Neue Klasse X, which is essentially the next BMW iX3, and I think it has potential. This looks a lot better than the BMW iX, and there are a couple of details, specifically the graphic features in the front end, that I want to tweak a little bit, because I don't think, even though the proportions look pretty sturdy on this thing, the nostrils just looks like it has trouble breathing, because they're too thin in the front. So I want to play around with the graphics in the front, also a little bit in the rear end as well. And we're going to see how we can tweak this, to uh, maybe make it look a little bit more harmonic in the front end. First of all, let's have a look at this design real quick here uh, from a front side rear and also we're not really going to focus on the interior in this video. I already made a video on this on my second channel. You can go and check that out if you want to. Now here we have the new Neue Klasse and, and as you can see, it, I do think these graphics, they actually feel very BMW-ish because we have all the key components for a front fascia, the, the face of a BMW. We have two components in the headlights, we have two kidneys in the middle, and we also have a, a sort of a separation between the lower half uh, graphics and the top half. So we have top half here, lower down low. And looking at the side view, what's really interesting here is first of all, as I talked about in my uh, previous video of this, is that we have the greenhouse sitting very low here. So usually this line just cuts up here and this being body color. And we also have a shoulder line that sits all the way down here. Very, very interesting uh, styling when it comes to the surfacing and the line flow in this car. But as I said, the proportions look pretty solid and I do think it has good looking proportions. Looking at the rear end, I want to do a couple of changes to this as well because I think these uh, taillights just sit too narrow to each other. They feel like they want to reach uh, and reach out to each other and connect, but they just couldn't reach all the way. So what I want to do, either what we can do is have a light bar here, which I think is not what BMW is all about. So I'm going to do just cut them some, somewhere here, have this be body color, and then play around with the graphics of the internal pieces here of the taillights to make them look a little bit more dynamic. Now quickly the interior, typical uh, BMW EV style, very simplistic and minimalistic interior when it comes to this design. So I want to compare this to the Neue Klasse sedan and let you know why I prefer the sedan. Up top we do have this, you can see the kidneys here, just how narrow these are and tall they are. Yes, they are inspired by the BMW 2002, but at the same time, if you look at all the lines, every line that we have in the key graphics, they're very stretched out lines and have they have the freedom to stretch out long and wide, and then you come to this main graphics in the middle, which is a lot of small lines not being able to have the same stretch in them. And it creates a very concentrated feel in the front end. And what I want to do is just take these grills and extend them. Just have the same type of styling. We can still have them backlit and frame lit and whatever lit you want. But I want to just uh, extend them a little bit like this and have them stretch out further to the sides. And that's what I'm going to do in the redesign. The reason why I prefer the sedan down here is we still have all the key components for a BMW front end in this and I think this looks these type of grills look way more harmonious and in connection with the rest of the body line uh, body of the sedan here because you could essentially consider these pieces in, in which the headlights sit. This is the kidney grille design and same thing of course on the other side. You can see just how much more fluid it feels than having everything be concentrated too harshly in the front and like we have in the SUV. This of course is going to be probably some some very very close to the next three series. We're just going to add more intakes and more styling, not have it be this stripped down when it comes to the surfacing and boom we have ourselves the new three series. Looking at the side view here, just quickly have want to show you that the shoulder line on this also sits all the way down here. We have a greenhouse up here which I think these proportions look very classic. The one thing I want to change on this uh, I think I made a redesign on this, I'm not really sure, but you see how this points outward, this corner and this corner also pointing outwards. It doesn't plant the car like I want in this case, so I would much rather have an angle here of the top part of the rear end. And Basically that, that will be my, my small redesign for this uh, type of design. You have the Hofmeister kink intact on both of these vehicles, up here on the X and also on the sedan down low. Wheel design, I think both of these wheels 
look fantastic and this looked properly planted the the sedan concept looking at the rear end again just want to cut this a little bit right here for the uh the taillights work on the graphics in inside and i'm not so sure i like these taillights in the rear of the uh, sedan concept they just look way too static for me so let's jump in to the redesign now and let me show you exactly what it is i want to redesign on this uh X, uh, not Noia X, Class X. And I, I think it's going to be a huge difference, but with very, very small tweaks to this design. Because as I said, I do think this has potential to be a great looking car. While we do this redesign, let's have a look at what this is all about. So the Vision Noia Class X is one of the future concept vehicles of previews. Uh, next BMW, essentially, it's the next, the entire design language for BMW. They're going to look very similar to this and the sedan as well. And it's supposed to go into production in 2025. We are going to see a lot of changes, I do believe, to uh, the key graphics of the, of the front end and the rear. And also the interior is going to be completely changed for the production version. I don't think we can have an interior that looks like the, the interior is the thing that looks way too conceptualized for me uh, to be able to go into production but bmw says that the overall vibe of this design is what the next ix3 is going to look like so you have a, a kidney grill as dynamic element that's illuminated and backlit and it has this 3d effect to it which i think looks really cool and also the the housing for the uh, headlights these two led bars also has this mirror deep mirror feel to it and i think it looks very cool and it definitely has this 3d depth to it when you look at it from different angles so they say it's slightly larger than the current x3 the uh, however the interior since this being a, an ev you can play around with the interiors more and stretch the interior out more in a smaller package so the interior is more like the that one of the X5. We also have a bunch of screens here, a tilted screen for the infotainment. You don't really have a gauge cluster. The, the entire front end of the dash is a full LED screen where you can swipe things up from the infotainment screen. I do believe that's how it works. So you can have your main apps or whatever in, in, the, in the main screen that sits all the way up in the windshield almost. Now BMW is really working hard on autonomous driving and as, as I said in my other video on my second channel, BMW is the ultimate driving machine. So I do hope that they don't focus too much on automatic driving or automated driving because we still, I mean, as BMW enthusiasts and fans, it's all about the driving when it comes to BMW. So keep some of that for the driver to enjoy and have control over the car. I'm a little bit worried where we're headed when it comes to that. How much autonomous driving do we really want? And how much is going to be mandatory in, say, 15, 20 years? The new network of, of communications here in the concept is set to be a breakthrough for exactly that future autonomous, automated driving. Now, the overall design of this, you can see that it has a lot of chisels, sharp corners, and sharp angles to it, but it still has a a very low drag and it's reduced by roughly 20% compared to its current BMW's current SUVs and that means that we still can create very nice and sharp looking designs and still have a pretty decent uh, range they also improved the charging speed here and they say that the range is going to be a, a, about 240 miles which doesn't sound too great but in real world terms 240 miles is probably the standard these days even though it's advertised as more in a lot of cases and as i said the production of the next uh, ix3 will uh, begin sometime in 2025 so let's have a look at this redesign here and what i did with the design so here is the before you can see that it feels like it's sort of holding its nose like this it can't really breathe so i wanted to open it up a little bit and as i said i do know this is not a grill uh, functional airflow grill, but it is still a very important uh, feature of BMW. So I just want to stretch those out, make them a bit more squarish because we have a lot of squares going on in the front and overall for the design. So I want to have the same type of styling for the grills. And in the rear end, you can see that I just shortened the taillights a little bit and added some dynamic uh, thickness to the lighting internal pieces of the car itself and i do think doing these small changes to this car really makes it 
look pretty nice even though it is very static you can see all the lines the, the squared off features that we have all over this car which is typical BMW these days square 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 we do have a small chamfer here I also wanted to add this uh, this chamfer underneath the main key graphics which is the headlight and have a look at the door handles how they stick out this will probably I'm not sure if this is going to make it into production but it looks like I do think it's the Ford Mustang Mach-E that has a similar door handle for the front doors and here you can see the uh, different styling for the internal pieces of the taillights that I wanted to adjust for the BMW Neue Klasse X. 